38600 and 38601. Small tire changing machine. Hi, I'm Jack Cameron with Kentool, and I'd like to introduce to you today two new tire changing systems from Kentool. First is this floor mounted unit, which has a built in bead breaker. The second is a bench mounted unit, which can also be mounted into a rim clamp tire changer, which makes it very handy to change small tires in a large tire shop. The key to both systems is this patented tire snake. It comes with both machines, but is available in a variety of sizes, including this tire snake, which is designed for ATV tires or deep dish rims. Another specialty tire snake is this large version, which is designed for use on passenger cars and light trucks. But first, let me show you how handy it is to mount this bench mounted unit into a rim clamp tire machine. First, let me show you how easy it is to break the bead. The floor mounted unit includes the slide mounted bead breaker, which is infinitely adjustable for any height rim. It's also, the foot is also adjustable to accommodate different diameter rims. Bead breaking is accomplished simply by pressing down on the lever, and note how it self adjusts to accommodate the tire size. Included with the bench mounted unit is this handy handheld bead breaker, which is used with a rubber mallet. Bead breaking is accomplished simply by striking the bead breaker. The Kentool tire changing system works on a variety of sizes, from the smallest 4 inch to passenger car and light truck tires. And both units handle all types of rim configurations, including straight shaft, bearing style, and lug type wheels. Now let me show you how to mount a straight shaft wheel onto the unit. Slide the wheel over the mounting shaft with a valve stem up. Then using the tapered side of the mounting guide, slide it over the shaft which centers the rim on the unit. Then using a spacer sleeve and the round lockdown nut, we secure the rim to the unit. For bearing style wheels, use the opposite side of the mounting guide which has a recess and accommodates the race of the bearing and prevents crushing during operation. Now that we've broken the bead and mounted the rim to the unit, we're ready to demount the tire. To do so, remember always wear safety glasses and use an approved tire lubricant. I'm using Ken Tools BDE's product to lubricate the tire first. Demounting is made easy with Ken Tools patented tire snake. For demounting, we use the straight end of the tire snake. Notice that it has a flat and notch. That's for proper positioning on the rim. First, insert the tool in the tire closest to your body. Pulling the tool over the rim, notice that it clicks into place. Now simply pull the tool clockwise to remove the tire from the rim. The second bead is done the same way. Positioning the tool against the rim and pulling clockwise until it separates from the rim. We're now ready to mount the tire. First, we want to lubricate the beads of the tire, again, using Kentool's Bead Ease product. This eases the installation, and it also prevents damage to the bead of the tire during installation. This time, we'll want to use the curved end of the tire snake. It also has a flat and a notched end for proper positioning. Cock the tire on the rim closest to you, and position the tool also close to your body. Pulling the snake in a clockwise direction, pull it until the tire mounts onto the rim. The second bead is done likewise, positioning the snake closest to your body, but this time put the flat of your hand against the side wall of the tire. This holds the tire in position and it keeps it below the center line while installing the tire. And that's all there is to mounting a tire. For lug style wheels, we include the special hold down plate. Note that it has a pin which locates in one of the lug holes. It fits four, five, or six lug wheels. It simply positions on five lug wheels between two lugs. And on four lug wheels, it has a special notch that allows it to capture the other lug. Notice also that it is slotted, and this accommodates any diameter wheel on the market. I'm going to demonstrate lug style wheels using this 
light truck rim with a snow tire mounted. First, we position it on the floor mounted unit, centering it on the three fins. Next, using the hold down plate, we position the pin through one of the lug holes and rotate the tire until it contacts one of the fins. Next, we'll use this oversized shaft support barrel, which is included with both units, to lock the wheel down to the unit. Remember always to lubricate the tire, again using BD's product. This makes the job a lot easier and it also protects the bead. And for a wheel of this size, we're going to use the optional large tire snake, which is designed for passenger cars and light trucks. Just like with the small tires, we'll use the straight end for demounting. Position the tool closest to your body and pull the tool over the rim until it snaps in place. Now simply pull in a clockwise fashion. To demount the second bead, lift the tire up inserting the tool between the bead and the rim. Again, pulling in a clockwise fashion, pull until the tire is loose from the rim. And that's demounting a tire. To mount the same tire on the rim, we want to first lubricate both beads of the tire. We can do this while it's sitting on the rim. And again, using the curved end of the tire snake, we want to first start by cocking the tire towards us and inserting the curved end of the tire snake against the rim. Keeping your palm of your hand on the sidewall of the tire to hold it in place, pull the tool in a clockwise fashion. The second bead of the tire is done in the same fashion, cocking the tire slightly, again placing the palm of your hand on the sidewall, Insert the tool and again pull it in a side in a clockwise fashion. Keeping the palm of your hand, notice, keeps the sidewall of the tire below the center line of the rim. Pull until the tire is mounted completely on the rim. ATV tires have always been a problem, but they're no problem for the Ken Tool tire changing system. First, we'll mount the ATV tire on the floor mounted unit. These tires can be done on the floor mounted unit or the bench mounted unit alike. First we'll use the special hold down plate which is included with both units for ATV tires, sliding it over the shaft. Next we'll insert an anti-rotational pin to keep the wheel from turning during mount and demount. We're now ready to use the oversized shaft support barrel to secure the wheel down to the unit. As with all other tires, first we'll want to apply bead lubricant. And for the ATV tire, we'll be using the tire snake which is included with the unit. For demounting, we'll use the straight end. Again, inserting it closest to our body and pull the tire, the tool over the rim until it snaps into place. Now simply pull the tire snake in a clockwise fashion until the bead separates from the rim. The second bead is done in a similar fashion, first lifting the tire up to expose the second bead. Insert the straight end between the tire bead and the rim. Now again, pull in a clockwise fashion. And that's all there is to demounting an ATV tire. To mount the tire, it's done in quite a bit different fashion. We want to apply a liberal amount of bead lubricant this time to both beads. And to install the first bead of the tire, instead of using the tire snake, we'll actually press the tire over the rim. First, cock the tire closest to you, and we'll use a rocking motion from right to left to install the first bead of the tire. Now, installing the second bead, we can't do it the same way, so we'll use the tire snake. Cock the tire closest to you, and using the curved end of the tire snake, We'll position it on the rim. Remember to keep the flat of your hand against the sidewall of the tire. That keeps the tire below the center, the center line of the rim and pull the tire snake in a clockwise fashion. And that's all there is to mounting an ATV tire. 
I would like now to review an optional method for installing ATV tires using the special ATV tire snake. It's specially designed for deep dish rims. First, we want to lubricate the tire, both beads, while it's sitting on the rim. And as with the conventional tire snakes, we want to cock the tire closest to us and insert the curved end of the tire snake so that it connects onto the rim. Then grasping the tire snake at its farthest point, we want to pull in a clockwise fashion. The second beat of the tire can be done with the special tire snake or with the tire snake that's included with your unit. Again, cock the tire closest to your body, insert the curved end, and pull in a clockwise fashion, keeping the palm of your left hand against the tire side. This is particularly handy if you change a lot of ATV tires and rims. You've seen me demonstrate the tire changing systems from Ken Tool, but in this next segment, you'll see Jerry Kadish of Allied Tire, a local tire dealer who uses these machines every day in his shop. He'll be using the bench mount unit located in one of his rim clamp tire machines. I like this new machine. It's easy to mount on a rim clamp tire machine. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And you can do a little bit of everything on it. That's basically all there is to taking them off. Putting them on is just as easy. Set the tire on. Get a little cock on there. Twist her right on. That's all there is to it. Less than a minute on and a minute off. Ken Tool has his new tire tools. Makes it real easy. No more bars, spoons, or screwdrivers. There's no damage to the rims or the beads. This one rim here, somebody must have used the screwdriver because you got some bends where they twist it over on it. This is virtually damage free tire change. This product right here for a few years, but it doesn't seem to hold the wheels as tight as this machine. And it has a round base. Sometimes it spins inside the rim clamp, where the rim clamp on the square base, there's no way it'll turn. A lot of good luck changing wheelbarrow tires, lawnmower tires, and floating RV tires. For more information on the Kentool tire changing systems, contact your local Kentool rep, your local Kentool distributor, or call Kentool directly at 330-535-7177. Hot to say day, and you say night.